the given function fx is continuous at x is equal to 1 if the limit of fx as x tends to 1 from the negative side is equal to the limit of fx as x tends to 1 from the positive side is equal to the value of the function at x is equal to 1. Now when x is less than or equal to 1, fx is equal to ax squared plus b and therefore the value of f1 is equal to a times 1 squared plus b which is equal to a plus b. The limit of fx as x tends to 1 from the positive side. Now the value of fx when x is greater than 1 is equal to bx squared plus ax plus c. Plugging that in, the value of the limit is b plus a plus c. Equating this to the value of f1 obtained above, we get a plus b is equal to b plus a plus c. a and b cancel out and we are left with c is equal to 0. Now fx is differentiable at x is equal to 1 when the limit as x tends to 1 from the negative side of fx minus f1 divided by x minus 1 is equal to the limit as x tends to 1 from the positive side of fx minus f1 divided by x minus 1. On the left hand side x is less than 1 so plugging in the value of fx as ax square plus b minus f1 which is equal to a plus b and in the denominator x minus 1. On the right hand side x is greater than 1 and therefore plugging in the value of fx as bx square plus ax plus c minus f1 which is equal to a plus b and the denominator remains as is which is x minus 1. On the left hand side b cancels in the numerator and taking a common we get the limit as x tends to 1 negative a times x square minus 1 divided by x minus 1. On the right hand side in the numerator taking b common amongst the first and the last term so we have b times x square minus 1 Similarly, taking a common, the next term is a times x minus 1, and finally plus c, all of this divided by x minus 1. Now the value of c is equal to 0, as determined earlier. On the left hand side, x minus 1 cancels between the numerator and denominator, and similarly on the right hand side, x minus 1 cancels between the numerator and denominator, and therefore, the expression simplifies to limit x tends to 1 on the negative side of a times x plus 1 on the left hand side. On the right hand side limit of x tending to 1 from the positive side of b times x plus 1 plus a. Limit on the left hand side is equal to a times 1 plus 1 and the limit on the right hand side is equal to b times 1 plus 1 plus a. And therefore we are left with a is equal to 2b. Therefore, the given function fx is continuous and differentiable at x is equal to 1 when a is equal to 2b and c is equal to 0.